I have Dr. Matt Hilton here with me, a physician with sports and family medicine. And Dr. Hilton, we're here to talk about the symptoms of long COVID. I know you all are experienced some patients that are feeling these symptoms. Um, can you just talk a little bit about what you all are seeing? Yeah, long COVID is definitely something that people are experiencing. And um, there's a variety of symptoms that are out there. Uh, it can be uh, you know, a few weeks after you get better to months and months after someone has recovered. Um, it's very frustrating for patients sometimes because we don't always have a good answer for what they can do or a, a, an easy solution. Sometimes it's simply just waiting. Dr. Hilton, what sort of symptoms are you all seeing? We're seeing a wide variety of symptoms. I would say the most common ones that we are seeing would be respiratory related cough, shortness of breath, um, and along those lines also decreased stamina or um, endurance in activities. Um, maybe not shortness of breath like at rest or in conversation like this, but person's going out on their morning run and they're feeling slower or can't go as fast, uh, can't go for as long, those sorts of things. Um, if those, you know, if, if they are having shortness of breath at rest or with just basic daily activities, that needs to be addressed with the physician right away. Um, you know, getting them into pulmonary rehabilitation or other sorts of treatments like that. Um, another one that we're seeing is prolonged uh, loss of taste or smell. It can be very frustrating for people because that's something we do all day long. Not all day long, but you know, we do it multiple times a day and uh, it's just, just a drag not to be able to taste or smell things. So it's a, it's a variety of things, sometimes mild, sometimes severe. We were talking earlier um, just about the frustration that it can cause not only the patients but also the providers kind of talk to us about what what that experience is like. Right, yeah, it is frustrating and I, I tell patients, I'm very honest with them, like I don't like telling them that I don't have a good answer for them. That's never a, a pleasant thing for me to say um, and it's certainly not something that the patient comes in wanting to hear like, hey, I really hope my doctor tells me that I don't have a good answer for you. They don't want to hear that, but I have to be honest with them. A lot of times it's like we don't have like a magic pill or a cure for some of these prolonged symptoms. A lot of times it's just waiting. Um, sometimes we can prescribe things if it's appropriate, whether it's a type of therapy or a medication or something like that. Um, but a lot of times it's just waiting. I know we have a lot of people who are, who are struggling, whether it's physically or mentally, and I know COVID's been going on for so long. Some people just choose to stay home at this point versus coming to see um, a physician. Talk about maybe where you draw the line of actually going to see someone versus staying at home when you feel some of these symptoms. If it's, if it's only mild impact, mildly impacting uh, quality of life or ability to do daily life or work, um, then maybe it doesn't need to be addressed. Um, but if it's been lasting for longer than a month or it's like, man, this is really just not normal for me and this doesn't feel right. I mean, use, use your intuition. We all have that internal intuition where it's like something doesn't feel right. Listen to that. Listen to that voice um, when you're not sure. Uh, but if it's if it's prolonged, lasting more than a month, or if it's significantly impacting life, we need to know about that so we can help you out. I know one of the symptoms um, some of your patients are seeing uh, is a prolonged cough. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, yeah, prolonged cough is a pretty common phenomenon with any viral illness. Even before COVID, we saw this all the time. Patients would call in or come to the office and say like, I can't get rid of this cough ever since I got sick. Um, I got over a sinus infection or bronchitis and I'm better, I'm back to work and all this stuff, but I can't <clears throat> get rid of this cough and that kind of thing. And most of the time we're just tell them to wait because that's a pretty normal thing that happens with viral illnesses, can last up to a month. I mean, if it's really impacting life, like you can't get through a conversation without coughing or it's keeping you up all night and you can't sleep and then you're dragging the next day, those are things we can potentially address uh, with you know, different therapies. If you're experiencing any symptoms that you think are lasting longer than they should or they're more severe than they should, or you're just not quite feeling right after a COVID infection or really any infection, definitely contact us, contact your primary care provider, and we'll make sure that you get taken care of.